Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to apply and connect a an, um, CGM device. The first step is we have to remove hairs in the area where we like to apply the sensor. We only apply sensors only on the back of the upper arm of us. We avoid areas with scars, moles, stretch marks or lumps. If placed in other areas, the sensor may not function properly and could give inaccurate readings. We select an area of skin that generally stays flat during our normal daily activities, no bending or falling. To prevent discomfort or skin irritations, we select a different site um, other than the one most recently used site. We wash the application site using a plant soap, dry, and then we clean it with an alcohol wipe. This will help remove any oil with you that may prevent the sensor from sticky properly. This allows the site to air dry before proceeding. Open the sensor pack by peeling the lid off completely. We uncover the cap from the sensor applicator and we set the cap aside. We do not use if the sensor pack or the sensor applicator theme to be damaged or already opened. We do not use if past the expiration date too. Then we line the small white bungle on the sensor applicator with the concavity on the edge of the sensor pack. One hard surface press firmly down on the sensor apply cutter until it comes to a stop. We do not remove the safety clip from the sensor right now. The applicator. If the safety clip is removed first, harm can be accidentally caused by pushing the button that insert the sensor before expected. Okay, now we are ready. We lift the sensor applicator out of the sensor pack. The sensor app um, applicator now contains a tip. We do not touch the inside of the sensor applicator or put it back into the sensor pack. Take care now, okay? But now it's time to press the safety clip and pull it out from the sensor applicator. Now the security device is removed and the sensor it will be ready for use on our arm. We place the sensor applicator over the prepared side and push down firmly to apply the sensor to our body. We do not push down on the sensor applicator on the placed over the prepared side to prevent unintended result or injuries. We make sure that the small white bugle on the sensor applicator is in the upward or downward direction. And then it is installed. We gently pull the sensor applicator away from our body. The sensor should now be attached to our skin. Applying the sensor may cause bruising or bleeding. In case of persistent bleeding, we remove the sensor and contact our healthcare professional. We make sure that the sensor is security after application. We use our phone after this step because now we are ready for pairing. We use the phone to communicate with the sensor right after the application. This will help prevent the built-in lithium battery running out of its power before the end of 14 day sensor wear, of course. Now we starting our sensor. After the application of a new sensor, we start the sensor by using the app. For that's easy as you can see. We scan the QR code on the package of the device uh, with, the, um, with the app, of course, running. And then it will pair each other. And then there will be a warm app for one hour. And after one hour of warm app, we will get information about our blood glucose system inside our body. Really cool feature now. That means it will get information every time we have this in all the, the, the 14 days of runtime. After 14 days, we can remove it and replace it with a new one to continue again. 
And this was the sound for an information. If there is an, um, an, 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 an upper um, value or a bottom value, you will get an information on your smartphone that you get informed with that. This is easy peasy. Job's done here. GS1 CGM is applied. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me positive feedback and I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon.